Okay, hi everyone. This is Darshan Patel, and we are live on YouTube with the session number five of collaborative learning. Here we are learning how to collaborate with each other and gain knowledge from each other and grow. The growth is the key word because as we keep on learning and we do not grow, it doesn't carry any value. So to grow and to grow together is the main mission of learning by sharing. Today, Bhumi is going to present about AWS. So I'm handing over this to Bhumi. Bhumi. Uh... Okay, sir, I will carry forward. Okay. Hello everyone. So today's topic is cloud computing and the basics of AWS. So firstly, I would like to explain why the need of the cloud reason. So first, uh, when... Bumi, Bumi, excuse me, if you can keep your video on, probably your viewers will be able to see your confidence level and your face. Okay, sir. Your okay, own hi. video, no, your own video uh, from the computer or from mobile, wherever you are presenting. Yes, sir, that's my own video only. Perfect. <laughs> okay, done. Okay. Okay, sir. So, suppose, uh, why the need of the cloud arise in the industry? So, suppose we want to host a website right then there are the following criteria we need to follow it first of all we need to buy a stack of servers stack of servers and uh, every website is having a peak time and according to the peak time we need to buy the servers if the if i will give and there is a maintenance and the monitoring of the server also we need to keep so peak time means for like for a website if say there is 4 to 6 pm I am getting the much more tra uh, traffic on my website. Then I'll be needing more servers to handle that traffic, right? If I, I have installed five servers, all five servers would be occupied in that, uh, in handling the traffic. And after 6 p.m., that uh, only two servers are enough to handle the traffic. So that three servers will be idle be sitting idle and I need and that infrastructure by setting that infrastructure cost is also very high for me. So, so after this problem arise, the cloud came into the picture. So what now the industries and the corporate world do, they will put the all the data on the cloud servers. So now there is no buying expensive servers for them. And it will be scale. Uh, there was a pro also problem of the scalability. Means as the number of servers are getting increased, uh, automatically server will get into the input. And uh, as the traffic is increasing, it will get scale. So your server capacity will vary according to the traffic. And as we are having the problem of the maintenance and the monitoring of the server. All this maintenance and the monitoring of the server will be handled by the cloud provider. So I'll just show you one video. Just have a look over it. Bumi, by any chance your audio is mute by while sharing? Video is mute? Yeah, uh, not here. Uh, when you share at the left bottom, there is one button called share the computer audio. So stop your sharing. Okay. 
stop sharing your screen press share once again at the bottom of your screen on left side okay. there will share be sound. correct so can everyone make this as a point or document it uh, i think darshana is documenting so make a standard process when every anyone has to do this work they have to do the same yeah. so what's the big idea yeah. about cloud computing now is it yes is it it is audible it is audible you do you understand you it you screen. have to go back ever since people have that stuff they've had to figure out ways of tracking it To understand it, you have to go back a ways, a long ways. Ever since people have had stuff, they've had to figure out ways of tracking it. Counting on fingers didn't get you very far, so 5,000 years ago they invented the abacus. And while abacuses could tally up big numbers, they had their limitations. Enter the calculator. So it could tell you how much stuff you had, but it couldn't hold your music collection, your vacation pictures, your funniest home videos, your encyclopedia, or the yellow pages. But before long, the personal computer could do all that. And now that you had a place to put all your stuff, you got more and more so and more of it. The data is increasing day by day. So our computer is not that much capable to hold that much of data. So the they are now putting that data on the cloud so as much as space we are needing it cloud is providing it to us soon your computer couldn't handle everything you wanted to cram it so where do you look for an answer the clouds well not literally the cloud is actually a bunch of giant internet hard drives or servers where you can store all of your stuff so instead of filling up your computer with all your documents upload them to these servers any one of them has enough space to hold every book ever written and there are millions of servers and whether you know it or not you're probably using the cloud already all those emails you write and receive they're stored for you all of them on your mail provider servers that's the cloud and you're on it so there you have it 5000 year history of cloud computing in 90 seconds to find out more about the origins of all things amazing and how it all affects you from quantum physics to augmented So what is cloud computing it is the use of the remote servers on the internet to store to store manage and the process data rather than in the local server of your personal computer so whenever i say to store the file it means that you are storing a file on a file system on a cloud like google drive if i give you the example we all are using cloud right in android we are using google drive in apple it's i cloud so it's present in each and every daily schedule schedule of ours so when i say that we, we need to manage the data so we are managing a data using a database that is on the cloud and when we say that we want to process a data you are using computing power on the cloud that to process your data and to avail all these services there are many cloud service provider So there are many cloud service provided like AWS, that is Amazon Web Service. Second thing is the Microsoft Azure. Third one is Google Cloud. And then fourth is IBM Cloud Service. Then there is Adobe Creative Cloud. So these are the cloud service providers. So first I'll explain the what is the AWS. So just have a look over it, and I'll just explain you that services that AWS is providing to you. What is AWS? More like what isn't AWS? AWS or Amazon Web Services is Amazon's cloud computing platform. Yes, Amazon is more than an online retailer. Like many leading cloud platforms, AWS includes a mixture of infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service offerings, providing organizations with tools like compute power, database storage and content delivery services. Amazon launched AWS in 2006 to handle its online retail operations, and Amazon was one of the first companies to introduce scalable pay-as-you-go cloud computing model to provide so users with compute. Amazon is the 
pay as you go that is the pricing strategy of amazon like you need to pay that much only as much you are using it it's not like if i have i needed 10 gb i have uh, taken 10 gb of the amazon that uh, if i'll be needing 50 gb of the space but i just used it 10 gb of the space then i need to just pay for the 10 gb i need not to pay for 50 gb of them though i have purchased 50 gb so it's the best model of aws and many cloud service provider are not uh, working on this strategy it's just the amazon is working on this storage or throughput as needed. Government agencies, education institutions, nonprofits and private organizations all use AWS. AWS is comprised of 24 product categories like networking, development tools, security and governance that encompass specific services like Amazon EC2 for virtual computing, Amazon Route 53 for scalable so domain are name system and AWS is speaking on the services that's provided by the Amazon. I'll just explain in next slide of mine. AWS Amplify for building apps. AWS even has services for gaming, messaging, virtual reality and general business productivity. Basically, AWS has something for almost everybody, and each service can be configured based on a user's particular needs. Over time, AWS has added services that helped make it a highly available, scalable, low-cost infrastructure platform. AWS also has data centers placed around the world, competing primarily with Microsoft Azure, Google, and IBM. What does your organization use AWS for? Let us know in the comments below and please remember to hit the like button. So what is AWS? Amazon Web Services is a secure cloud service platform that offers the compute power, database storage, content delivery and other functionality to help businesses scale and grow. So there are different So there are different domains in AWS. First is compute. So in compute, there is a service called EC2. It's just like a row server. You can use it when you have to need to host a website. So you can use it as a work of, as a work at your environment. It is like a row server that you you can install your software. You can install your operating system. It's just like a new PC you are buying. So it will provide a server that that service comes under the compute. And second one is migration. So in migration, what we will do when we need to transfer the data from our PC to the AWS infrastructure and the vice versa. So that's the migration domain. Third one is security, identity, and compliances. In this, there is a service like IAM. which is used to authenticate users and define users right to them suppose i am running a company and i am having the root aws account and i need i want to give that account to my colleagues or the employees that are at my com company but i just want to give them the restricted uh, with restricted permission like for the first person i just need that he can only the launch instances in it for the second person he can only the edit instances and third it can, uh, he can just review the instances so by this i can uh, give the granular permission to them with the uh, with the restricted things so i am service help in that and fourth one is storage storage domain in this we have service like s3 that is simple storage device it is a file system where you can store your file right fourth is network and the content delivery so net in network there is a service called root route 53 route 53 is basically a domain name system and which basically redirect your traffic from the url that you have purchased from the domain selling website like godaddy and redirects to your instances or your servers which are hosting your web applications uh, because all the time we can remember the ip address so we need something that is the domain name system it translate it just translate simple ip address and redirects your traffic to that ip address 
then it's content delivery so what is content delivery basically it is like a caging service like if i tell in the simple language is like a cache memory so like a user is far from the server and he is trying to access the data on the cloud so what it will do so data is caged to the server that is near to the location of the user so that response time become very faster for the user then sixth one is messaging so if we want there is in messaging there is service called ses that is simple email service whenever we need to send messages in the bulk then we use this services then fourth is no sorry seventh is database what database database includes service like rds that is relational database services it basically manage some database for you like my sql so when i say that manage they what does it mean means it will automatically update the database or they can automatically commit to the changes that we have made eighth one is management tool that it's it's a tool that we can that will manage your aws resources in this there is a service like cloud watch which is all in one cloud monitoring tool so that you can monitor all the resources that is running on on, a, on your aws infrastructure i'll just like to show you one thing i'll just like to show you the aws account so it's so this is how your aws dashboard looks like uh, these are all your services right hello yes is it audible yes, yes. now yes yes yeah, yeah it's audible so this is the aws account and as i said there are the services like compute developer tools i'll just mention the only few services of it but there are many services coming under this domain so since we have to deploy a new ec2 server we'll be clicking on ec2 which you can find under the compute so domain so showing that how you so will set up your computer whenever you are loading a server or how you can load server how you can load the storage how can you store data on it let's click on ec2 now this is the ec2 dashboard uh, over here you can monitor your uh, ec2 instances uh, as you can see i have two running instances as of now and i have four snapshots four volumes and 51 key pairs right so you can monitor your ec2 uh, services from over here since we are launching a new instance we'll click on launch instance all right now you have to choose an ami so ami is nothing but an operating system that you would use to uh, that you would want on your ec2 server right for now uh, let's launch a windows server so let's click on windows now you will be asked for the kind of instance that you have to select all right uh, you don't have to worry about the instances as of now uh, you can select the t2.micro and don't worry because we'll be discussing everything in detail as we move ahead in our journey and when we come down to the ec2 module we'll be learning all of all about these different instances so for now just click on t2.micro and click on next now it's asking me how many instances do i want okay since it's a demo option since it's a demo i'll launch only one instance and then it's asking me the networking settings and everything okay guys don't worry uh, everything will be discussed in detail in the ec2 module for now let's just focus on deploying this instance and click on next ignore if you don't understand i will explain everything to you guys all right guys and now we come on to add storage so with windows by default you have to launch with a minimum of 30 gb you can also expand it over here as per your requirement so i am okay with 30 gb let's click on next so now we have to add tag so what do you want your instance to be named right so you can give your name over here so the key is name the value could be a windows server right let's click on configuring security group all right a security group is basically like a firewall on your instance it is used to control the inbound and the outbound traffic which comes on your server so uh, how to do that uh, we'll do that in the modules that'll be coming in the uh, in the coming weeks 
for now just understand what security group is all about so it is used to control the inbound and outbound traffic uh, if you don't understand that as well it is okay we'll just click on review and launch so we'll review all the settings which we have just done everything looks fine to me let's click on launch all right this is a very important step now the way you get authenticated to your instance is with a private key and a public key configuration so it's called a key pair so basically you you can create a new key pair as in a new public key and a private key or you can <coughs> use an existing one so the public key is kept with aws and the private uh, key you can download and whenever I you uh, want to connect Hello, sir. Yes. So if I can interrupt over here, I think that it's too much technical. Probably uh, it needs uh, to be learned uh, by using an attention. So uh, if you can kind be kind enough and share these links, probably you must have shared. So these links people can refer and read at their own ease. Correct. Okay, so yeah. if you have, uh, I think I have seen this is the last slide of yours, and yeah, uh, sir, no. it's the conclusion. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I think further to it, probably uh, uh, let's give a vo vote of thanks to Bumi. Uh, very confidential, Bumi. Even though your screen was half visible, I was not, you know, ready to disturb you because you see the recording of it. You will able to come to know that you know there are several things we have to maintain as a part of aesthetics while doing the presentation. Let's every one of us at least get the basics of uh, presentation and how to be presentable while we do uh, video recording. I would like to imbibe these skills into each one of you. Uh, we don't want to enter into a field of radio jockey. That's definitely, you know, it's not our uh, ambition, but definitely let's work on uh, an area or let's, let's work in such a way that we can confidently present ourselves with whatever face or what with whatever you know physical appearance we have, our confidence should be visible in our face. Yeah. Yes. So that is going to be a byproduct of our learning in this collaborative learning phase. We have reached up to half of the mark of our course. Remaining half, I would like uh, to have your inputs. I think today Darshana has started collecting the inputs from several of the people those who have expressed their uh, you know wish and will to connect uh, the inputs do give me inputs primarily two inputs i have got one is about the courses which we are are being offered online through various platforms yes that is good uh, we are going to select several courses let's prioritize them and let's focus on that focus is the key thing where you will able to achieve the quality knowledge Otherwise, we will be running around, you know, here and there, just like if we want to reach Mumbai from Rajkot. I think your city is Rajkot, right, Bhumi? Or Jamnagar? No, I am from Surendranagar. Surendranagar, any Nagar, yeah. <laughs> so, so if you, you know, run a, uh, start from Surendranagar to Mumbai and then you first take a train going towards Rajkot and then you change, you know, in the bus which going, which goes towards you know, uh, a Kutch or to Rajasthan and then you take another train going to Delhi and then after seven days you reach to Mumbai and then you say that Mumbai is too far. It's illogical, yeah? You should yes. take a straight train from Surendra Nagar going to Mumbai and you will reach Mumbai. So yes. today's youth is doing like that. They, they take several of the trains to reach the destination, but all the trains are wrong. So it is not that they are not doing the efforts. They are putting the efforts in wrong direction. So you want to be a digital content creator. You have asked me a question that, sir, what are you doing? Why you are inviting me and asking me to do all these things? All these things are means. It is not the way. Yeah, this is the means to be, be there. Like train is the means. So you first need to know what are the means to reach to my destination. You need to de define like you if you do not know how to reach to Mexico, you will take a train to reach to Mexico. Will the train take you to Mexico? No, no. you have to know uh, which are the means to come to Mexico. You have to go to Mumbai and from Mumbai, you have to go to Amsterdam or to go to uh, Houston or to LA. From there, you will get the flight to come to Mexico. There is no direct flight from Surendranagar to Mexico. Yes, sir. Definitely you have to change. Hi, Bhavik. So 
Hello, we sir. need to change multiple flights. That's required. But you need to know your path. And that's why you need to know what is there in industry, what are the offerings. And definitely we are going to make a syllabus for you guys, which will help not only to you, to others also, to focus, to collaborate and to learn more. So now let's move to other two videos which I have shared. Uh, one is from uh, SAP itself. That is SAP uh, um, and I, uh, Google Glasses. Yeah. Uh, how many of you managed to see that video? How many have see, seen the video which I have shared yesterday? None of you? I did not. Okay, no problem. No, it's not a crime not to see a video. <laughs> I have written several of instructions also. How many of you have managed to read it? Yes, sir. I read them. You read them. Not an issue. So there was the first video. Oh, no. It is Monday. I don't know, it has disappeared. Means somebody has deleted or what? Okay, let me open it again. Hopefully my Google history doesn't have weird things. Huh? And if you see some weird things, ignore them. Yeah, there is no weird things. Welcome, the time is 6.47 a.m. There are pick requests available. Begin. Incoming pick request for customer 351. 22 items, please. Do you see what is here? This is what he can see in the corner of his eye. In the corner of his glass, yeah? This shows his Wi-Fi is on. So there is a small screen in his glass. Confirmed. Confirmed. Show me the pick list. Go to aisle 17, shop 3. So he has to go at this. Uh, he has to pick materials. Headphones 2, not, not netbook 1, TV 1, screens 2. Show item 1. The size for item 1 is 30 by 25 by 5 and the weight of 0.5 kg. It's non-fragile. Pick 2. Two okay. One okay. Pick request confirmed. Pick three. Three, okay. Function detected. Proceed to maintenance area. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? Be sure to set it to the sea. This person What's the voltage? who is working over here doesn't know anything about battery. 
This person is an expert sitting somewhere, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 miles, maybe in India. He has analyzed whatever, what has happened and he is giving instructions to him how to repair. Okay, reading 12.3, 11.9. Just put both tubes together and you should be fine. Warning, forklift nearby. Yesterday he has talked about this IoT device and all that. So they talk to each other, the machine talks to each other rather than a person talks to each other and they identify that something is coming, don't do collision. And if collision happens, these goods are, you know, thousands of dollars. They will get, you know, uh, wasted. So to save it, all these technologies are being used and this is not future, this has been used today. complete you know and the gate has been identified because these trucks are going in a various direction and the order needs to be placed over there in particular truck imagine there are 100 trucks are placed in one line and the goods which needs to go to one direction maybe suppose i give an example of india itself the goods which needs to go to gujarat which is getting placed in truck number 18 but somebody by mistake puts this, that goods in truck number 5 yeah it will create a huge mess so to avoid all these things such kind of technologies is been used so there is no chance of manual error so that you know the courier should come late and all that now I would like each one of you to speak something about this what is your opinion Darshana, not you, obviously. I know you know about... I was yes. about to speak. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, as we can see in the video, like, as you said, devices are talking to each other. Yes. We learned about that yesterday. That, as you said, prevents manual error. But, like, more advancement in this field also can prevent the such errors which are digital also because they can be hacked into or like men malfunction but like as we start using them find the error solve them that is the way this works mm -hmm. if we stop to try something just because we're afraid of it failing then it will never happen mm -hmm. okay uh, first and foremost uh, do they teach all such kind of things in engineering or do you do these kind of things as a project in engineering just doing, you know, just thinking, not... Yes, sir, not we do it as a project. As a project, you have done it. Mm -hmm. So, Bhavik has done it. Who else want to speak? Uh, hello? Yes, Nina. Yes, sir. I uh, actually, I, want, I saw the video and I think that, uh, you know, this uh, technology has, uh, you know, reduced the, our work mm -hmm. to very minimal. Thing mm -hmm. with more accuracy, you can see mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. is uh, like handy and uh, it, you, expert, uh, you know, uh, expert guidance is there. We mm -hmm. can directly get expert guidance regarding any problem or issues that we face in any pro if there is a problem. Mm -hmm. So these are the advancements that you uh, that have made made work easy mm -hmm. and uh, accurate. You can mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this, these all things can be okay. learned. Now, from now let's uh, be an objective driven. Like you know, in uh, our ex very very many exams, we have objective uh, exams, correct? Not subjective. Not to write an essay. एक क्या बोलते हैं? औरंगज़ेब यहाँ पे आया और successful हो गया उसका reason बताओ. Okay? ऐसा नहीं करते. हम objective driven करते हैं. एक एक सेंटेंस बताते जाओ इसमें आपने कौन कौन सी टेक्नोलॉजी देखी वन बाय वन बाय वन बाय वन चलो भाविक आपसे चालू करते आपने क्या देखा आईओटी आईओटी देखा इजीएस्ट आपने सबसे इजी चीज पकड़ा 
Okay. Any anyone else? Can I? Yes, please. Supply chain. Supply chain. Dekha. Okay. Second. Or. Image recognition. Image recognition. Okay. Third. Fourth. आपने गूगल ग्लास देखा जो मोबाइल हम हाथ से यूज करते हैं अभी ग्लास के अंदर पहन सकते हैं वो ही मोबाइल ओके और वो मोबाइल से पिकअप कैसे होता है द पर्सन रीड्स बार कोड लाइक दिस ओके इवन आपने मूवी में जो देखा होगा लोग आंख से चीजें मूव करते हैं वो भी पॉसिबल है What else do you have seen? No, cloud computing is there. Just now we had a. Yes, cloud is huge, vastly used over there. What else? Okay, let me give give clues. Probably you'll re remote maintenance. आपने देखा? कोई बंदा दूर बैठ के एक फोक लिप बिगड़ता है उसका maintenance कर सकता है. Correct? Machine inspecting itself. खुद खुद में कुछ एरर आई है वो मशीन दिखा सकता है हैव यू इमेजिन इन टूडेज कार मारुति को छोड़ दीजिए मीन लो एंड कार को छोड़ दीजिए हाई एंड कार में के अंदर एक कंप्यूटर रहता है डू यू थिंक दैट मीन हैव यू सीन दैट जैसे ऑडी है ऑडी है बी है वो सब गाड़ी है उसमें कंप्यूटर रहता है उसको जब रिपेयर करने के लिए ले जाते हैं ना वो कंप्यूटर को एक कंसोल से कनेक्ट करते हैं एंड दैट कंसोल स्पीक्स एवरीथिंग अबाउट दैट कार वो कार का ऑयल का क्वालिटी कितना है कितना चली है कितनी बार ब्रेक लगी है कितनी बार स्कीडिंग हुई है समझे आप तो ऑल द डेटा आर बीन कैप्चर्ड इन हाई एंड कार इट नीड्स लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स सो इन सिमिलरली दीज मशीन आर वेल इक्विप विद लॉर्ड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स तो जो जो बंदे एम्बेडेड में जाना चाहते हैं जो जो बंदे ये सब करना चाहते हैं इवन देर इज लॉर्ड ऑफ डेटा कलेक्शन डू यू थिंक दैट डेटा कलेक्शन इज हैपनिंग ओवर देयर? यस। नाउ हैव यू सीन दैट प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द गुड्स यू नो विच वाज हैपनिंग हाई बे लो बे एंड मैट्रिक्स इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो यू विल सी प्रोबेबली यू विल गेट इट मोर क्लियर तो ये जो विजन आना है ना दैट विजन के नॉट कम बाई वॉचिंग नेटफ्लिक्स Vision can come by watching the required knowledge, or वो जो required concentrated knowledge है ना, you will come across each other and share with each other. ऐसा read करो और छोटे-छोटे video है, बहुत बड़े नहीं है. Okay, I am sharing with you one more. What happens in Amazon? Inside Amazon. creator to a consumer as flawlessly as they can and as quickly as they can. So Amazon is changing people's expectations and they're perpetually improving those expectations. But behind every Amazon box there are lots of people hustling and a lot of money spent to get it to you in just one day. Here's what happens when you buy a prime eligible item on amazon.com. Amazon spends tens of billions on shipping every year. In just the last quarter of 2018, Amazon's shipping costs jumped 23%, reaching a record 9 billion. How much? 9 billion USD. Just calculate it into rupees when you have time. Yeah. So why is it worth it? Well, uh, customers come to expect a uh, consistent fast delivery of anything on earth from Amazon and our job is to continue to make that happen. And Amazon set aside 800 million just in the second quarter of 2019 to start making one-day shipping the norm. 
Most of that investment is going towards the infrastructure and uh, transportation costs associated with speeding up delivery to uh, the millions of prime customers who are about to uh, begin to experience one day as the new normal. The difference with e-commerce is the cost. You know, one day is a new normal. The similarly which we are discussing, collaboration is a new normal. And it cannot happen just by Darshan Patel. It needs a lot many people. Many people are coming and going. Many does have visions. Many does not have vision. But I am not there to give up. I have vision and I'm going to implement this vision called collaboration, a new norm. I have seen there are very few companies implementing it and I am dedicated to it. You may have seen my dedication that why I am doing this with such a dedication because I want to implement something. Yes, sir. The pick, pack and ship happens every time a unit is sent out. To better control this process and its large cost, Amazon is cutting down its reliance on UPS and the U.S. Postal Service and is investing heavily in its own logistics network. It now handles the shipping for 26% of online orders. Amazon now has at least 50 airplanes, 300 semi-trucks, 20,000 delivery vans, and it operates ocean freight services between the U.S. and China. Amazon is looking to do it all. That shouldn't be much of a surprise. The only thing that matters to Amazon is making sure the customer is happy and is paying for Prime every year. I'll rewind it and I'll show you one funny thing. Semi-trucks, 20,000 delivery vans, and it operates ocean freight services between the U.S. and China. Amazon is looking to do it all. That shouldn't be much of a surprise. The only thing that matters to Amazon... Can you see something here? What is the difference if any one of you want to show in this picture? Okay. Those who are frequent air traveler may have seen these windows. Amazon has yes, converted, sir. converted yes, the commercial planes into the freight plane because mm -hmm. during this time, commercial planes were available very easy. And right now, with this COVID situation and all that, the planes are available at dirt cheap, like secondhand car. So the companies like Amazon will keep on purchasing such kind of planes. So somebody's loss is somebody's profit. Is making sure the customer is happy and is paying for Prime every year or every month. What that means is sometimes you can rely on partners, but you want to make sure that you have it in your pocket if that's not the case. Other big retailers are also spending a lot to keep up with the fast shipping expectations Amazon has created. Walmart is rolling out free next day shipping with orders of $35 or more starting today. And Target offers free two day shipping on orders over $35. And during Amazon's big Prime Day sales event, July 15th and 16th, eBay plans to hold a crash sale offering 80% off big ticket items. Amazon's 25 years old. The reality is that's a really short time to be around to have become the number one player. So can anyone compete? Sure, people can compete. Can they sustainably compete is the harder question. I don't think we've seen it yet. The journey a package takes to your door starts before so you even... Have you ever experienced that you have ordered a cell phone in Amazon and you receive a diamond necklace? No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Why no? Sir. You will learn here. Place the order. Most items on Amazon are sold directly to you by a third party. In Jeff Bezos' letter to shareholders in April 2019, he said third-party sales have grown from 3% of total merchandise sales in 1999 to 58% in 2018. Amazon charges those sellers a fee to list items on Amazon.com, starting around 15% of the item's selling price. Amazon also sells things directly. In some cases, Amazon buys inventory from a third party and then sells it to consumers. Other items are Amazon's own brands, such as Amazon Basics, Amazon Essentials, fashion lines like Lark and Row, and Alexa devices like the Echo. All items sold directly by Amazon are already sitting in an Amazon warehouse waiting to be ordered and shipped. Most third-party items fulfilled by Amazon are also already waiting at an Amazon warehouse, 
while others are sent directly from the seller or to an Amazon warehouse once you hit that place order button. Amazon does not disclose the details of its inventory strategy. Figuring out where a product sits before you buy it is a phenomenal mystery. <laughs> it's something that every reseller would love to know and figuring out the code that is Amazon has been part of that hard process. After an item is ordered and ready at one of Amazon's 175 fulfillment centers around the globe, it's picked, packaged, and- ordered a red color phone, and do you get a green color phone? No, no sir. sir. Even though the stock is over, will Amazon you know, ship that green color phone? No, sir. Or have you ever seen that, yes, I have you know, ordered the red color phone, and the inventory over now you will not get red color phone no, sir. very rarely so amazon only accepts the order for which it has inventory so all this is not a magic it's a work of computer computing and cloud computing all these goods boxes cello tab and people working around which you are seeing over here right now it's just a small part of the complete chain. The biggest chain is computing. And shipped by some of its 250,000 warehouse workers, often with help from one of its 100,000 robots. It's essentially an amusement park for a box. There's conveyor belts that go around, there's slides. It looks like a lot of fun. But the question is, how much is automated versus how much is manual labor? And that suite, blending that, figuring out how to have the least human touch points while ensuring the best quality control is that perpetual conversation. We visited a fulfillment center outside Seattle, where 2,000 workers prepare packages on a couple million square feet of floor space. Workers here showed us the process of getting an item from the shelves to a box. We scan the item and make sure that that item is what matches yes. what's in our hand. You can see, if this doesn't work properly, if that barcode doesn't, because this lady is not going to open that box and see what is there in it. What is there in it is going to be matched by this com computer and this one. And all the inventory related data is going to be maintained by this. And this inventory goes and backtrack to the supplier. So if we can see the complete supply chain and that supply chain's efficiency makes Amazon a foolproof system. Amazon is not disclosing whether they are still using SAP or they have developed their own indigenous as supply chain system. Before certain years, they were using SAP and it was successful. Still, they may be using SAP, they may not be using SAP, they may have changed SAP and they have created a complete different version of it as per their requirement. Nobody knows. But they have made it so efficient these days that the end result has been seen. That the Prime delivers in a one day worth 9,000 billion. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of business they are achieving. So this is the things we want to discuss with you guys. This is what is called thought prov provoking things. So don't get indulged into ordinary things, small, small courses here and there and waste your time. See the quality material, see the gist of it, what you are learning, what certificate you are getting, what kind of content you are get getting, and on top of that, if you get something nice, share with others. The other person will share with you. So collectively, you 15 will become more. Hope in these five days we have achieved this. Still, I see very little traction. Some of you have started with, you know, presentation, this and that. I have put several requests to ask for sharing the details and all that. Now I would like to listen from you for next five minutes, what you guys will be doing in coming days, next five days. One by one, yeah, so that nobody has been left. Who want to start? Sir, can I start? Yes, please. Yes, sir, so uh, as we're talking about courses and you say like 
content is the main thing so i would like to share i will share the courses which i have already opted for and the content is actually verified and i will also share along with it the details whether who should opt for the course whether it is beginner intermediate level or expert level so as per my experience in my courses i'll be sharing all the perfect. details about it perfect so can every one of do, us do it like a preparing a table let me show you normally how yes, quickly i prepare the table yeah uh, some of you can prepare like this uh let me share so if i need to start from somewhere to share some knowledge some share some information first thing is definitely excel that's on the screen and then we stow it into a bin and then there's cameras here that take pictures no, i don't want to listen to your camera stuff let me stop recording so that you know people will not able to see what we don't want to show them <laughs>